Just tell Dr. Davis that I'm trying to supply him with what it is that he needs. Yeah, he will understand. Anna Lavery? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Why did you say that? I'm lying. To buy us some time. Well, it might have worked. If he believes you, which he probably won't. You got a better idea? Yes, I do. I said we find the rest of the crystal. Send him on his way home before they find us and put him under a microscope. Examination would yield nothing. The body I inhabit is the same as yours. Well, you're going to have to trust me on this one. They're not going to believe you. But don't worry about it. I mean, you got friends here. Anna and I won't let anything happen to you. Right? You're out of this as of now, Frisco. You're talking to me? Yes. I want you to go home. I want you to find Felicia. Oh. Thank you for your opinion. But not until I find the crystal. Don't be stubborn. Well, look who's talking. Stubborn? Now, we found one piece. How long is it going to take to find the other one? Now, Spoon Island isn't that you big. You can't go over Wait. There. Now, whoever his name is is out there already digging the place up. We've got him here with the super sonar. I mean, he zooms right into this stuff. It is Once not on the island. What? What? The crystal. It is not on the island. There was only one piece in the house. Maybe it's buried or something. No. Are you sure about this? Please. If it was there, I would know. How far do you think Harrison is going to go on this? I don't know. You thought about your daughter? Mm -hmm. What if he goes to her and starts asking her questions? You better not try. I feel bad. And you're not even eating this. No, I feel bad because I caused so much worry. I will go alone. No, 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 just, just, just don't sit down. There is much Hey, worry. wait, we're a team here, you see? We do things together. We started this together, we finish it together, right? There is so much worry. You have lied to Robin's father. Robin is upset and unhappy. You cannot go to Felicia. Yeah, and you can't go home. Get this straight. This is America, right? There's always problems. Just get used to it. But you are hurting yourselves for me. No, we're not. We're just helping you, that's all. We're friends. We're glad to do it. We are friends? Mm -hmm. You saved my life on that island. I mean, that was a big friend move you made there. Uh -huh. We are friends, Frisco and I. Hello? Hi, Tom. How'd you get our number? I talked to Olin into telling me, Anna, listen, we've got a problem. Harrison called in the Air Force. They're headed your way. You've got to get Casey out of there. Oh. Frisco, I hear wind chopping. Wind? Wind chopping. It is loud. Choppers. Hang up. Anna? Anna! Get down! What is happening? Get down. Harrison in the Air Force. Get down. Get Here down. Here they come, just like the wild blue yonder. Sit down in that chair right there, Casey. You know you're in there? Come out peacefully. Come out now, or we will be forced to assume that your intentions are hostile. I can't tell. Get this place cleaned up. Okay. Come on. We don't have to know you here. I will go alone. What? I will go you alone. You can't go alone anyway. You don't know your way around here. You'll be lost in two minutes. But I will go alone. No. I'm going with you. No argument. All right, surround the house, but don't get too close. You don't know what he is or what he may be armed with. All right, let's move in. Stay low. They're making their move. Stay down. What is this, some gracious local sheriff? What's going on? Colonel Peters, United States Air Force. And who the hell are you? Robert Scorpio, Commissioner of Port Charles Police. What's 
what we're doing here. I don't know. The question is, is he with us or against us? Why is the Air Force harassing my daughter? We weren't harassing her. We talked to her because your ex-wife is harboring a fugitive. See what I can work out. Try to clear these guys away from the house. Now you stay in here and see what you can hear. Yes. Now, if you sense that they're gone, you get him the hell out of that back window. You got it? Yes. Now, Ross gave me this kid the other day. He's got a scrambler and a phone in it. Once you get someplace safe, you find me and get a hold of me, okay? You got it. Good luck. You too. Frisco? What? Goodbye. Friend. You let Anna go first. Since when does the Air Force operate in my jurisdiction without telling me? But it's a matter of national security. We get our orders from Washington, Commissioner. We don't have time for this, Colonel. Let's go. What is this? The... And who the hell are you? Air Force. Look at this. WSB. Frisco Jones is my name. Who gave anybody the authority to walk in on my case? Your case? That's right, hotshot. I got a tip that Casey Rogers was up in the area. I've been up here for hours staking it out. Well, we had exactly the same information. Well, I guess we can all forget that now, can't we? The Air Force, I don't believe this crap. You guys come in here like flyboys, you little Rambos? What the hell's the matter with you? What is that up there, Colonel? Scrambled eggs or some facsimile of your brains? You know, I can't stand you civil service types. This cool, it's been. What about Mrs. Lavery? What about her? The daughter said that she was coming up here with Rogers. Well, I guess you must have misunderstood. No, I know what I heard. But you heard wrong. She isn't here. Robert's with us. Is that good? Yeah, yeah, that's very good. Robert is good. Yes. In the interest of national security, I am ordering you, stand aside! Well, you're outranked, Colonel. As a representative of the United States Justice Department, I'm telling you to clear out now. Call the men. Can you carry that? Yes. Okay, great. We're out of here. Okay. Turn around. Go. Frisco said you should go first. Do I go first? No, I go first. Before we go, would you mind if we took a look on just around inside the cabin? You got five minutes, Colonel. Starting now. And don't make a mess. I just cleaned. I think they bought it? They may have, but I haven't. Now talk to me. And don't leave anything out. Listen, I know how you feel. Oh, I doubt that. I am. I really doubt that. No, I, mean, I, mean, I may not know how you feel, I mean, but I understand that you put yourself in my position here. I mean, your daughter comes up to you and says, Dad, guess what? Mum's on the land with Golan from the planet Zardos. You haven't heard the half of it yet. I don't think I want to. Agent Jones, <clears throat> I want to thank you for your cooperation. Colonel, I want you to know I'm not going to report your interference here. But just remember that this is WSB, my case. Let's just keep it that way, okay? You think Jones leaked the information on that file of Donnelly? I don't know. He's very tight with uh, Scorpio and Anna Lavery. Well, that could be a possible conflict of interest, Colonel. I'm going to call Ross at WSB. Who knows? Maybe we can get him reassigned. They made it. Listen now. Thanks. I mean, I don't know how you pieced all this together, but 
the backup, it was, uh, it was pretty, pretty well timed. Thank you. Well, seemed like the right thing to do at the time. Probably the only thing to do. Good. But one point, how did you pull that bluff with the bureau? I mean, where'd you get the hardware from? It's mine. Again. I. You did it. You... How could you do that after what they did? I mean, I can buy the alien story easy. I can buy this. I didn't have any choice, Robert. I had to go back in to protect Felicia and to help Anna. Now, if anybody's going to understand that, you are. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I understand. I just, I understand Anna. What I don't understand is what she's up to. Or anybody else for that matter. Oh, gee. Oh, no, stop. No. You are ill? No, I'm just out of breath. I'm tired. It's from running. Not ill? No, I'm not ill. My heart is beating very fast. Yeah. Yours? It's from exertion. Why aren't you panting? The wind chopper is gone. Yeah. The soldiers have left. I'm not out of the woods yet. How much farther? What? Out of the woods? Oh. No, I don't mean that. I mean, we... Out of the woods is, is an expression. I mean, oh, like no dance. sweat. Right. And chill out, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. How much do you think Robert knows? By the way he acted, he knows the truth. I should have told him sooner. You didn't tell him because you didn't think he would believe? But it's good. It's good that he's on our side, you know. So glad we don't have to go back to the island. There is something I must tell you. What? The crystal. It is on the island. You lied? I saw how much Frisco needed Felicia. So, I lied so that he could go to her. That was really nice I of was you. Wrong. No. I'm sorry. I will go out of the woods alone. No. You can't do that. Robin would never forgive me, you know. What we'll do is, is we'll wait here. Until the coast is clear. That's it. He found a piece of crystal that gives him two. Supposedly he needs another one. That leaves the guy on Spoon Island with zero. I feel like I'm doing a guest appearance in the Twilight Zone here. I understand. Um, just for a s second, I mean, just supposing, mm -hmm. maybe, mm -hmm. we assume that what? whatever you... Well, I mean, what does this thing look like? Hmm. I mean, I'm like curious, like right? A, yeah, I understand. He's, uh, you know, like us. I mean, the bottom line of this whole thing is this weirdo's been hanging about my daughter. Hey, don't worry about it. I've been spending time with him. He's... Our biggest problem is here, is we need to get him back home. Then we'll be fine. Where is this bloody crystal? Anyway? I don't know. I do know it's not on Spoon Island. Although I'd like to get my hands on the guy that's out there. What he did was try to kill you. Yeah, that's all. You were trespassing. I also think he was involved, if not completely behind, Felicia's kidnapping in Paris. What makes you think that? There was a cafe that we used to go to in Paris all the time. That's the last place she was seen before she was kidnapped. Now, when I went there, this waiter told me that there was some man with information for me. I go to the table where he's supposed to be. There's nothing. A bottle of wine. And there's one of these little hand-rolled cigars, you know, one of those real expensive kind, half burned up in the ashtray, right? But when I'm out on Spoon Island, I'm peeking through this guy's living room, 
He's got the same kind of cigar. Coincidence? Now, what do you think? I don't know what to think. Well, I didn't know what to think either. So I asked Anna about it, right? I'm telling you, Robert, she went and left field on me. She said, stay away from it. You don't want to be involved in it. Because of a cigar? Hell, I don't know. All I did was mention it to her, and she, she whacked out on me. Have you run this by Sean? Yeah. What was his reaction? You know, he hasn't brought it up since Paris. Maybe he didn't notice. Of course he noticed. Yeah, you're right. Well, look, I don't have time to sit around here and speculate. From what I understand, Harrison Davies has decided to get involved now. Right, he wants to examine Casey. If he does that, we might be in some trouble. I think we should head back to town and uh, head him off at the pass before this whole mess blows up in our faces. Well, we might want to go look for Anne We'll Anna discuss and... it in the car. Okay. Guess I'm not the boss anymore. Can't go first. not in your galaxy, but you can see our twin star, there, no, there, past the moon. That is our twin star. Lumina is much beyond that. Such a long way away, isn't it? Yes. Guess we'll get you home somehow. For me? I'm sorry, Faison. No sign of Jones or... Him. I have to have my crystal! Get out of my sight. And don't you be back until you have something to tell me. They couldn't have disappeared. They could do anything with the help of Sean Donnelly. Sean Donnelly knew nothing of the crystal. How often do I have to remind you never underestimate Sean Donnelly? Well, I thought you had Sean Donnelly under your control. Yes, so did I. But I find it hard to believe that he would risk the revelation of certain secrets. But perhaps I can... Turn it into my advantage. Why? What are you going to do? Sean Donnelly is crazy enough to steal my crystal. He's gonna regret it. And so will those around him. Unless, of course, he returns it.
Now, you're going to stop annoying my ex-wife and daughter in your eager pursuit of this guy Rogers. If you don't, I'll slap you with an harassment charge. Threats. I must be getting awful close. Anything you're getting close to is a charge of obstructing justice. Now, look, I want this man as much as you do. But I'll find him without your interference, or the Air Forces for that matter. Incidentally, why did you have to bring them into this? I didn't. Then who did? I have no idea. I'm a doctor. My interest is simply to examine him, that's all. You already did that. He was your patient. Exactly. And he gets up and he walks out. He's near death. I want to know why and how. I mean, can't you understand what, what, what significance this has for medical science? Am I to believe that you buy this story about the man in the moon? Well, unlike yourself, I like to keep an open mind. We'll cut to the chase here. I want this man. I want him real bad. Now, I'll cut you a deal. When I've got him, you'll be the first to know. And in exchange? You back off. You back right off. Remember, you run screaming to the press about this alien and this guy turns out to be one more Joe on the street. Your medical credibility is going to go right into the toilet. And I don't think we want that to happen, do we? I'll be in touch. Hello, Port Charles Harold. This is Dr. Davis. Assistant Chief of Staff over at General Hospital. I'd like to speak to your editor. Hello? 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 Oh, there's this terrible noise. Oh, Lynn. Hello? Oh, Lynn. Can you hear me? It's, oh, it's Anna. Anna. Anna, is that you? I there's mean, this awful here's noise here. Oh, oh, okay. Anna, Anna, it's Frisco. Hello. Anna? Anna, you, if you can hear me, you have to push button one five and adjust the, the, the fine tuning. It's the blue button at the bottom. Hello? Hi, can you hear me better? Yeah, it's fine. Okay, um, Casey and I, we found this place to stay. We're going to stay here the night. And, uh, look, that was great what you did back at the cabin. That was great. No problem. I'll tell him you said that. Is Robert with us? Well, I'm not quite sure yet. Listen, give me an idea where you are so we can make our next move. No, you stay there. Casey and I are going to go after the crystal. Anna, don't leave me out of this. Frisco? Frisco, you just stay there. You keep everything low and, and, and you cover for us there, okay? Don't do it this way, Anna. Please, Frisco. Can I speak to Robin? Hang on your mom. You have to speak up. Okay. Mom? Mom, are you okay? Yes, darling, I'm fine. How are you? You all right? Yeah, Mom, I'm real sorry I called Dad. I was scared. I didn't know what else to do. That's all right. You, you did the right thing, darling. I love you, Mom. I'm praying for you and Casey. Be careful. I love you. I love you very, very much. Um, there's someone here who wants to talk to you. Just talk in here. You have to talk loud. Robin. Casey? Robin? I miss you. I also miss you. I wish I could be there. You know, I never got a chance to say goodbye to you. I will not forget you. You have taught me much. How a human being thinks. And how they feel. I feel you right here. Where my heart is. You will be with me. Forget you, Casey. Will you do me a 
favor? Of course. Take care of my mom. I worry about her. Will you do that for me, please? No problem. Thanks, Casey. Goodbye. Goodbye, my friend. Ross wants to see me in the morning. Hmm. Big plans for tomorrow? Yeah, sort of. I was going after Felicia tomorrow. Going after? Yeah, she left. Oh, you mean like a trip? No, not a trip. Oh, you mean she found out you went back in? Let's deal with the problems at hand, shall we? You think Robin's gonna... Wonder about moving in with Olin's relatives? No, she's too smart for that. If, if this guy on Spoon Island decides to retaliate for his stolen crystal, she could be the next target. I just want to find out who this guy is and what he's after. Well, I intend to. We all set? Yeah, everything is packed. Yet. <laughs> mm hmm. Can't I stay with you or Catherine instead? Hey, kiddo, what's wrong? You don't like my family? No, no. Well, then it's not that. It's just that... Dad, I'm real sorry for not telling you about Casey. It was wrong. It was wrong to keep secrets from people that you love. Well, well you told me now, right? Yeah, right. Okay. Thanks, Dad. Thanks for believing me. And thanks for helping Mom and Casey. Well, I'd do anything for you. Because I love you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wish we had a blanket. It's going to be really cold tonight. Blanket. Covering to provide warmth. Well, I think um, I'll use this, I think, to make it kind of bed. You can have that over there. That's. I'm, I'm going to sleep now. I am tired. Yeah. Yeah, I know. What we'll do is, after we've rested, then, um, tomorrow, we'll go and work on your crystal. And my mission will be completed. Yeah. Yeah. Might be a little risky, but... Where there's a will, there's a way. Oh, yeah. That was really nice what you did for Frisco today. It's very important that he and Felicia are together, you know, because they're, they're very much in love and they need to be together. Good night. Love. important thing in the world. Good night. Me, I'll announce myself. He's expecting me. Aren't you, Faison? Sure. But not this early and certainly not this last. 
the hell is that supposed to mean? I presume it's the message I sent you. Yeah, telling me that my foolish maneuver has endangered the lives of the people I love. What the hell are you talking about? About the way you've been stalling over the Wellington collection to buy yourself time to arrange the theft? What theft? My crystal. What did you do with it? I never touched your damn crystal. I don't believe you, Sean. I don't care if you don't believe me. If it's gone, I didn't take it, and I have no idea who did. You're too smart to lie. But my threat wasn't an idle one. I have intimate knowledge of the lies and betrayals you, Robert, and Anna has been involved in. And I don't need to describe what would happen, should I decide to make those secrets public. I'm right in the middle of a case, Ross. I'd like an explanation. <laughs> I didn't come here to give an explanation. I came here to get one. Why are you holding back on us, Frisco? What? I said, why are you withholding information on this case? What do you mean? What information are you talking about? Read the newspaper. I'll be waiting to hear from you. I understand why I'm here. Good. Your dad was worried about that. I told him not to. It's okay. Just as long as I know Mom and Casey are too. Knowing both of them, you can be on it. Looks like you're the one that can use some reassuring. Why are you so tense? I'm not tense, just a bit angry. I don't like having to move my daughter around like a horn. It's for her protection. I think she knows that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, as soon as I link up with Fusco, I'm headed off out to the island to see what this character out there is up to. And then, then Casey can go back to his planet. I don't care where he goes, just as long as my daughter's life. Come here, come here, look at this, just look at this. Fresh off the press. You now, this is a waste of time. My time and your time. And for the last time, I am telling you I have no idea who took your stupid crystal. Maybe one of your staff that you got enough of them out here. I certainly did not. No, I think not. Though I had my doubts. Gee, thanks. It's hard to imagine Sean Donnelly doing anything so foolhardy. For obvious reasons. You should have listened to me last night. I told you Anna is behind all of this. Make yourself more useful elsewhere. Uh, Desiree, will you check out Tristan Isolde's dinner for tonight? Maintenant? Yes, Desiree, do. Come on. Dogs. Now that I've been uh, cleared, so to speak, I don't want any more threats against Anna or Robert. Sean? We still have unfinished business. I mean the collection. Precisely. And if I don't get what I expect from you, what I said in my little message still holds true. I'm going to take my sweet time, Cesar, to protect my friends. Because if I am going to make a pact with the devil, I want to know all the consequences. You should consider the consequences for your friends if you don't. For instance, Sean. Yes. What would happen, I wonder, if Robert and Anna knew Sweet was still alive? Yes. I know you never had him killed. It was one of the few mistakes you ever made, Sean. You only made them believe you. They knew about the Air Force files you 
allowed me to steal? Oh, yes, John, I would certainly consider the consequences. But on the other hand, you can go to your friends and tell them everything, by all means. But never forget, never. One pays a steep penalty for high treason. Have a bad day. You made my day, sir. Let him go. Take a look at this. This changed everything. Turn on radio, TV, right. everything. I want to see the report. Answer your questions. I'll do it one at a time. Okay, and I, I just want one thing to be made clear here, and I want you to print this. I am a doctor, and the only reason why I'm doing it, doing this, is because I feel it is in the public's interest. Okay, well, we're okay hold it. No, I am not finished yet. Yeah, okay. I will confine all my answers to medical questions, medical questions only, and I am many I don't know yet. But as soon as I find them out, I guarantee it will raise the level of medical science as we know it, okay? Now, one at a time, okay. right. I'll take okay. the questions. Tiffany okay. first. Okay, you allege there's a cover up. What is the reason for this? You're going to have to ask the police force or the... Uh, the police, police force? Police force. Police force. Police force. Do you think there is no reason they're trying to suppress this? Well, in the past, they have done just that. All in the name of national okay. security. Why national security? security? Why? What about what the what I want to know. How serious Why? Look, obviously, stories like this in the past have been squashed, okay? Mm -hmm. All in the name of national security. Why the police? National security. You're going to have to ask Commissioner Scorby about that. Evidently, his uh, former wife has an intimate Anna relationship. Anna Lavery? Anna Lavery? Well, where is she? Are you hiding? When you find Anna Lavery, you can ask her. Then you can tell me, okay? okay. Look, where is all she I can now? tell you is that we do not know where she is. We do not know where Casey is. I am not an authority on this part, though. Okay, but have you so you have to ask Commissioner Scorpio any yeah. more questions, okay? okay? Have you examined the... Uh, How does Anna Lavery... Yeah. We can't handle the calls. Everybody from the man on the street to major media. Let me guess. Uh, have you met the man in the moon? And what about the cover-up? Yeah, not to mention the governor's office and uh, last but not least, the Air Force. The Air Force still? We have to defuse this alien situation. We call it yard journalism. Uh, I call it worse than that. Yeah, but we have to assure the public that we are continuing our search for Mr. Rogers. Done. Uh, is there anything else I'm supposed to know? What are you, the man on the street? Just checking. Damn this Harrison! What did he think he was doing? I don't know. You want me to stay with Spoon Island? Yeah. See what you can dig up. I'll manage the situation here as fast as I can. I sure wish Anna would call. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now what? Tiffany, you're really going to have a hard time talking this one down. Tiffany just called from General Hospital. Dr. Davis has implicated Anna. Hey, what's Mom? Yes. Uh, it's just Casey. She was still in one piece. Oh, hey. Everybody's fine. Your mother and Casey, they're all doing fine. Your father wanted me to come here and tell you that. See there? What have we been telling you? That's right. He's Happy got a lid on this. It's all under control, okay? Okay, you're helping him too? Yeah, I'm helping a little bit. Oh, good. So Casey's got three people on his side. You, Mom, and Dad. Three? Well, I count four here. You're leaving out the most important. You. <laughs> Are you hungry? No, I'm not. Thanks. Anyone else hungry? Hey, I'll go get something for all of us. No, I'll go. I'll go. Well, I'll come with you. Okay. Otherwise, the cook will have a fit. Come oh. on. Brave kid, huh? Yeah, she's, she's fantastic. How are you doing? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm, 
I, I'm having just a wee bit of trouble with this alien story. Well, it's not easy, I understand. No, I, but Robert doesn't seem to be having any trouble with it. I'm not so sure about that. Well, for someone who is as inherently skeptical and cynical and suspicious as he is, he does seem to be buying this story. I tell you, when he showed up at that cabin, we didn't know if he was with us or against us or what. I'm not surprised. I mean, he'd do anything to help Anna. Well, in this case, he had no choice. Don't forget that. Oh, uh, when it comes to Anna, he, he, he never does. I just hope that this whole thing doesn't just backfire in his face. <clears throat> now, enough with the misinformation. I want the full story. Which version do you want? Mine? The one you want to hear. Listen very carefully to me, Doctor. The last thing I need in my life right now is some two-bit publicity out complicating it. Because when that happens, well, I'm forced to complicate back. And if you doubt the validity of that statement, talk to one more member of the press and see how fast you pick up the tab. So what, is this a gag order? It's whatever you want it to be. What about this alien? No comment at the time. Anybody want to escape? 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 Anybody well, I think their job's getting a little out of hand, Steve. As far as I'm concerned, it's already out of hand. I think it's time we laid this alien rumor to rest once and for all. Yeah. So, you're reporting to the police commissioner these days. Starting to make this your second home, aren't you? Commissioner Scorpio extended me the courtesy, Fresco. Which is more than I can say for you. What is it, Ross? What do you want? I got tired of waiting for you to call in. You know me. I'll call in when I have something to report. What's that in your hand? Nothing. Nothing? You have the inside track on an alien. You call it nothing. Well, let's get that all cleared up right now. I don't know anything more about this alien than anybody else does. Frisco, I think your friends are involved in this case. It's clouding your judgment. <sighs> You're going to have to explain that one to me. No. <laughs> you explain why you brought your friends into our case. Who? Scorpio. Debank. Look, Robert's got enough of his problems around here. I'm sure you've seen that. And Donnelly? I haven't spoken to Donnelly. I don't know what Donnelly does with his days. That's the truth. Try accessing government files. What are you talking about? <laughs> the three musketeers. Where Scorpio and Devane go, Donnelly is sure to follow. This is my case, Ross. Yeah, I don't need... Listen, Frisco, you need to tell me. Why Donnelly is so interested in getting his hands on missing Air Force files. One in particular. You tell me. <sighs> you remember the three little words that got us started on this? Poor Charles, Annihilation, Lumina. I remember very well. All right. This missing file belonged to the scientist who tipped us off. This was right before he died, or as we believe, was murdered. The file was subsequently stolen. How did Donnelly know about this if you didn't tell him, Frisco? Ross, how the hell could I tell him if I didn't know about it? Was it three or four? Three or four what? Musketeers. Listen, Ross. You're talking to a man who's been working day and night on a case. 
Now, I didn't want to take up your time or mine by coming to you unless I had the right information, unless I knew who was behind this. I need to know a lot more. Well, if you'd get off my back, I would tell you, because I can tell you something now. All right. First of all, you're looking in the wrong spot if you're going after some monster from outer space like the paper says. That's not who you should be focusing on. You should be going after the man out on Spoon Island. He's the one I was tracking over in Europe. He's the guy who can give you the definitions to your three magic little words there. He's the one who I have to find out about. I have to find out who the hell he is. Now, I was about to wrap this case up until I was rudely interrupted here. So if you don't mind, I'd like to finish it today. Whoa, 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 hold it. Look, if everything you say is true, you cannot go charging out there alone. But don't forget, I have something else at stake here, Ross. My wife. Now, that's very important to me. I'm getting a little nervous with this whole situation. Frisco, you are making me nervous. Now, look. The way you're behaving, you are not gonna, you are not gonna close this case for us. You're gonna blow it. You hired me to do this, and I'm gonna do it. Yeah, you will do it. By the book. Come on, Ross. Our way. It's an order. Know your enemy, then act. Right? We didn't put you onto this case just to watch you blow it. Reporting to you live from General Hospital, where we are waiting for Commissioner Robert Scorpio to begin his... Easy, conference. don't push. You're While we wait, I'd like You'd to bring you up to date on what little information we do have... Excuse me, the man excuse me. Is this is not a movie theater. Space. What's going on here is ago, better than a movie. An individual by the name of Casey Rogers was admitted to General Hospital's emergency room in critical condition. Now, according to hospital inside sources... Even after a thorough physical examination, doctors were unable to determine the cause of his illness. And then a few days after he was admitted, Mr. Rogers mysteriously disappeared, and General Hospital has refused any comment up to this point. Uh, excuse me, I understand that you've been doing a little bit of investigating on your own, Miss Lawson. Right. Meg Lawson. Uh, you are a nurse here at General Hospital? No, um, not yet. I'm a student nurse. I see. Could you give us any information that you know about Casey Rogers? Well, I'm, I'm, I am, I'm actually not the one to talk to. Um, our assistant chief of staff has done all the work. For those of you who may not know, Dr. Harrison Davis was the man who first released any information concerning this supposed alien and went so far as to accuse police and federal authorities of a cover-up of the circumstances surrounding his admittance to General Hospital and his subsequent disappearance. Thank you very much, Ms. Lawson. While we await the arrival of Commissioner Scorpio, we will take a station identification break at this time. But please stay tuned. We will continue live. Okay, okay, good, good. Hi, yeah, yeah. Hi, honey. I didn't know you were coming, Dan. Oh, I'd just like to watch you work, Ben. Oh, good. Besides, I thought I should be here. Yeah, well, I'm glad you're here for Robert and Anna. My goodness gracious, I can't even imagine how they feel. I hate doing this. Oh, come on, honey. It's your job. I know. We did, off the record, mm -hmm. did you have any idea before this broke this was happening? How could I know anything? Well, you're always around them at that oh, point. Sweetheart, I think uh, uh, oh, your okay. cameraman Dale wants you. We'll discuss this later. Mm. Yeah. Oh, okay. You and I need to spend some time together. I have some questions. Hey, old buddy, I got all the answers. Good. And people say that I'm nosy. No, I've never seen anything like this. Good yeah, story. Yeah, from the looks of it, it's going to get bigger. Hey, Tiffany's going to make the network with this one. <laughs> I would die trying. Yeah. I'm Dr. Steve Hardy, Chief of Staff. The hospital board and I have made this room available to Commissioner Scorpio in the hope that he can resolve this situation as quickly as possible. Okay. Yeah, would you answer a couple of questions for us? I want to know where... Okay. Let's have a little bit of order here, and I'll answer all your questions in due course. Where is the guy? Now, first... First. Okay. I'd just like to say that... But apart from a few migrant workers, there are no aliens in Port Charles. In other words, there's not a guy... Now, I realize there's been a degree of hysteria generated. Quite a bit. Thanks in no part to the press. That's not we were just asking questions. Fact one. Fact one. Is that Mr. Casey Rogers was a patient in this hospital? You got that part of it right. Part. But it's Mr. Understand, guys? Mr. Casey Rogers. 
In other words, he's but not a man. He's not I a never man. He's not a 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 man. He's not Commissioner! Commissioner! Rumor has it that in the past you've covered up for your ex-wife. Are you doing it again? Yeah, I'd like to know. Yeah, is there some danger involved with Anna, this, uh, this man? A bad question. Yeah, how's he gonna answer it, though? That is not an issue with this conference. Next question. Commissioner, what means are you taking to try to find Mr. Rogers? Everything at our disposal. If there's no cover-up, where is Anna Labor? Your ex wife. Hey, 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 that's simple. She's not involved in this. Now, the moment I have sent Mrs. Lavery and my daughter out of town, but I'm in constant contact. So no reserves. That is not important. If you said but as soon as this is over, I will be talking to them, and I hope that'll be soon. So if there's no danger, why did you send them In the conclusion, I'd just simply like to say that when we've discovered where this person is, we'll be able to solve the mystery. Okay. In closing, I'd like to say that poor Charles has no danger from a close encounter. Sleep well! You just heard a statement from Commissioner Robert Scorpio, but before I close, I would like to have another statement from Dr. Harrison. I'm still locked in my doors tonight. If there is an alien, I hope he's staying Anna, look, it is the man, the man from Spoon Island. What's he doing, man? I've listened to your little story. Now you will listen to mine. This is my jurisdiction. And you will play the game by my rules. Meaning that you will report to me every and all of your development. I said all might help if we knew who stole the file. Yeah, well, we don't know. Simple fact is, we don't, we may never find out. Why wasn't this investigated a little more thoroughly when it happened? There was an investigation, all right? The investigation was halted now. <laughs> I don't know by whom. Whatever it was must have had a very strong reason. Well, maybe we ought to figure out who and why. We tried, believe me. Well, it must be something you can do, Ross. I mean, you're just the head of the WSB. Well, I wasn't back then, Frisco. Scorpio. Hi, it's me. Uh, look, uh, I got the mayor's office here. Uh, Let's give the man some privacy, eh? Right. Why well, haven't you called? I saw your press conference. Where are you? Uh, I guess about an hour out of town. Look, I got a million questions, but now's not the time. We've got to meet. No. We can't do that. Our faces are going to be all over the newspapers. What we have to do is find a, a safe house. Well, I can help you there if you'll give me some time. It's okay. I think I can find one myself. Um, when I do, I'll call you from there. How's Robin? She's all right. Okay. I can't hear you. I have to go. All right? Bye. I want to say something. Go ahead. Maybe from here, I should go to Spoon Island alone. Will you just stop it? Please. No, you will stop. I feel... fear. There's nothing to be afraid of. Not for me. For you, Anna. 
You listen to me. Whatever it is that we're going to do may be dangerous, but we are staying together until we've done whatever it is that we're going to do. All right? And we can both go home. Thank you.